The plight of the people of Siraka is evident well before you reach the village. The only access is through this long jagged stretch of road, a lifeline to the city of Port Mosby. The lack of basic services in Siraka is astonishing given the close proximity to the city. Key services are non-existent and only a dream. We visited the village yesterday when community leaders handed over youths, including a mother of five, to police, who were involved in the sale and consumption of home brew. This activity has stimulated increased law and order problems in the village and neighboring suburb Gerehu. Steam! Pine! Having drunk at the same time. This la community! Emi Bin, up. The law and order problems here in Siraka village are an offshoot of a much more compelling situation. There are no health or education services, which has seen a spike in health related issues and illiteracy rates. Mibla been elected nine times, member blo Mibla come. He no got one plus look sour lo member blo Mibla lo Hiri Kairiku. Na central province, that's all. Siraka has a population of nearly 2,000 the people mainly from the Gulf province. Their lives are very much dependent on a subsistence lifestyle. Gardening, fishing and hunting is a daily routine and source of income. The villagers say they have been neglected for so long and now want the government to assist. To the government, yes, I respect because I'm talking about them. I'm selling money go down low. local level government, now, low people's threat. This la money, how about touching people from Syria now? I'm talking about them now. But the village's problems may be compounded further after the Supreme Court upheld an election petition against Karuku Hiri MP Paru Aihi, leaving the open seat vacant. This places doubt over any immediate assistance to them. In the meantime, this newly built church might be their only salvation. Cedric Pajole, National MTV News.